Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to do a roundup ranking of online guitar resources. Uh, I've done some other videos on different programs and uh, we write about it all the time over guitarchalk.com. You can check it out. There is a corresponding written version of kind of what's in this video that is going to be in the video description as well. So check out those links, give it a subscribe, give it a like, and we're going to get started here. Kind of the lowest up to the top rated. I'm going to have six. They're kind of my top six, and none of these are bad. I'm not recommending anything bad, and just because something's, you know, four or five or six doesn't mean it's not good. It's just not as good as the top ones. So we're going to start at number six, work our way up to number one. Number one. Number six is a program called Active Melody, and it doesn't get a ton of press, uh, but I have done a written review, uh, and, and this program is developed by a guy named Brian Sherrill, and he's a cool guy. Hey, I actually was able to talk to him a little bit over email, and he set me up with an account to do this review, and I don't think, uh, he, he did his due diligence, and I don't think I, I'm able to log into the uh, full membership anymore, but you can check out the written review. Uh, it's it's uh, pretty easy to find. Just Google Active Melody Review, and you can see I actually took a screenshot of uh, where I logged into the pro side of his page, but I'll just sort of give a quick rundown of how this works. He uh, he's a great teacher. He does a lot of stuff with blues, a lot of um, kind of improvisation and uh, lead technique. And uh, he has a really, really active YouTube channel. So if you go to any of his lessons, you're going to have the YouTube segment, which you can see right here is playing, and that's always going to be free. And then you can see these other parts here that are grayed out. Uh, I think these are backing tracks. And then the, uh, the premium uh, video uh, will kind of build off of the material that he does on YouTube and that is the paid side so if you have a paid membership you log into active melody with that paid account all of this extra content will be unlocked and if i remember correctly these uh, other videos are vimeo embed uh premium vi vimeo embed i think so uh and then you're gonna have the uh the tablature breakdown which i think is kind of a it's either sound slice or guitar pro i can't remember which one i think it's sound slice looks like here so anyway great program uh one of the most underrated kind of underutilized uh, like i said he's got a big youtube channel but a lot of people uh don't really know the name uh active melody but it's uh it's a good one check it out uh at least check out the free stuff certainly worth it uh on to number five All right, number five is a name and a brand that you might have heard before at this point. Justin Sanderco is a monster of content creation and guitar lesson publishing. He has been doing this for a long stinking time. Uh, really since, I think since the 90s, late 90s, he has had this domain registered. And he has been really refining his site. It got a big uh, kind of redesign where he uh, put together um, a learning kind of structure and he sort of grouped all his lessons. Like he's got his, uh, you can see the, the skill level break up here. And it's actually really, really good the way he did this. Um, he kind of broke, broke it up into modules and videos, you know, kind of like a paid uh kind of like a paid site would do. Uh, and of course, if you know anything about uh, Justin Guitar, uh, you know it's all free. Nothing is um, e really even behind email. I think he's got a tracking system that you can join uh, and get access to. But other than that, all of the content is free. Um, uh, uh, kind of like Brian Sherrill, it's mostly on YouTube. Uh, and this is actually new stuff he has up here. It looks like this is Vimeo. Uh, this is hosted on Vimeo or... Yeah, the, uh, this is definitely a Vimeo embed. So... Yeah, he is number five. Uh, some of the thing, some of the issues with with his program is that he's only one guy. Sort of the same thing with Brian Sherrill, which is why there there's a little bit of a limit to how how much they can uh, cover and how much material they can get out to people in different styles and different genres. You're kind of limited to what they are good at, what they are interested in. Uh, Justin is kind of, I you know, I don't know a ton about what he specializes in but he certainly does a good job of kind of being like this jack of all trades just being able to teach a little bit about all these areas so the beginner content is great once you get into intermediate and advanced material it's going to get a little bit 
like yeah, so it starts to get a little bit more limited so you might want to go with a paid program at that point but um uh justin sanderco his program is number five it's a great program like i said it's free go ahead and check it out all right the number four spot is gonna be guitar gate and you may not have heard of guitar gate it was actually a uh previously known as I think the professional guitar masterclass on uh, Udemy it was a Udemy course uh, and Michael Palmasano the guy who created it uh, he's he's a good guy I've, I've talked to him uh, a good bit over the years and uh, have reviewed his course both before it was on Udemy and then again uh, afterwards when when it uh, where it's now just on guitargate.com it's now a membership site um, but one of the things I really like about his program is that he's a great uh, teacher, especially when it comes to kind of integrating music theory with uh, the guitar and teaching you aspects of theory that are uh, really relevant to the instrument. And he is uh, also running a bit of a smaller site. Like I said, it is membership. So if you sign up, you're going to get a... Uh, a more more of a feedback oriented experience where he's actually going to look at your uh, progress and you can kind of exchange do a video exchange system and uh, like I said he's a great teacher he's a cool guy and uh, the 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 only thing that you're going to kind of run into again is that he's just one person um, there are a couple other instructors I think uh, on his courses uh, that that do their own material so you get a little bit of variety there um, but uh, yeah, I mean his 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 credentials you can see here. He's uh, you know, formally educated in a ton of teaching, and um, yeah, his courses are really good. They're actually sponsored by uh, Paul Reed Smith PRS Guitars. You'll see he's got a PRS in uh, just about every single video. So, um, and and it's it's pretty cheap. I think he only charges ten bucks a month for membership. And like I said, you're gonna get uh, some some direct, uh, you know, kind of. Uh, feedback oriented teaching uh, from Michael. So check it out. That's number four on our list and we're going to keep moving. All right. So to get into the top three, you kind of need to get away from the single teacher site. Again, I don't have any complaints about the three I just covered. Those are all great sites. They're all in the top six. They're really good. There are just some limitations when you only have one guy. When it's just Justin Sandico teaching you, um, it's it 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 does have its limits. True Fire is the oldest guitar lesson website in existence, I believe. I think I think upwards of thirty years they've been they've been producing content like this. So they've been around a long time, uh, and they have the largest body of content as well, the most lessons. Uh, and where I typically tend to recommend them is for uh, maybe more advanced players because if you see here you look into just their courses um, even ignoring like the learning path section they just have a ton of different courses to pick from they have a ton of material and you you kind of need to know what you're doing to some extent before you get in here and start looking um, because what you're what you're going to need to do more than follow a learning path is you're going to need to pick out uh, you know specific courses that you might want to work on so for example in the rock section uh, you have just a lot of different kind of nuanced areas of study to go through like um, the the Scott Sherrod course uh, Southern Roots uh, an electric guitar rock course um, Steve Vai does a course that's totally centered around um, uh, this particular album that he released uh, quite a while back and then you have just all all sorts of like the uh, this course here looks like it's uh, let's see Alex school it looks like it's focused on a lead and and soloing um, so you you kind of need to know you need to know your way around the guitar a little bit they do have beginner content but you I, I typically recommend true fire for uh, advanced players just because of the way they have their material structure and they have so much to pick from so they're number three a great site you can buy courses one at a time you don't have to have a membership to uh, purchase and download a course if you don't have a membership it's a little bit more to download um, but if you do have a membership you can stream it all uh, as much as you want you can do the monthly or yearly or, or whatever you want to do uh, but they just have a lot of different ways to pay a lot of different ways to get to the content and they also have a huge free section it's one of the bigger free sections uh, that you can just kind of browse to and use uh, as much as you want so that's true fire number three we're going to keep moving
All right, number two is going to go to Jam Play. And like True Fire, you are going to, again, have a lot of material to pick from. Not nearly as much, but but the the kind of single course, um, maybe a little bit more of a nuanced approach is is going to be carried over into Jam Play, uh, which is similar to what True Fire does. Um, but it, it's, it's typically the program I recommend for intermediate players who have maybe gone uh, beyond the beginner stages and, and just want to get a little bit more of a narrow focus. Although they do have great beginner courses as well, you can kind of run the gamut on jam play. You can go from like knowing nothing about guitar to being a f pretty advanced player just by content on this site. And what they, what the, the way they have this set up so so for example let's this is the beginner section let's go into the skill section I'll try to explain this as quick as I can the difference here is that if you want to learn a style let's say you want to learn rock pretty typical uh, you are going to have all of these courses to pick from right so these are not single lessons these are all courses right so you have uh, classic rock guitar with w Will Ripley you have um, uh, let's see uh, Brad Henneke rock guitar you have uh, a bunch of names I can't pronounce oh gosh Stuart Ziff rock about so these are all rock courses that are taught differently by different teachers you have see this is kind of the exact opposite of what you're going to have with something like guitar gate or justin guitar or um brian Sherrill's active melody you're going to have a ton of different instructors you're going to have a ton of variety and i think that's a good thing i think that really helps i think it really makes it more applicable to more situations and can actually get you a to, to be a more well-rounded player if you have access to uh, you know different approaches and different instructors um so that's kind of how jam play is set up again it, it is it is a great program all around for pretty much any skill but definitely for those intermediate players the uh, the people that have already been through the beginner stuff and want to narrow in a little bit um jam play is a good option and just the record they also have a base program if you're interested in that and that's number two let's get to number one guys So the number one program that I recommend is Guitar Tricks. That might not surprise some people. It's a popular name in the world of online guitar lessons at this point, but it is the best. I, in, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, I think they're the best program as far as having kind of that tight topical order and having a nice balance between a diversity of instructor but also some consistency from a few really good instructors. I think Guitar Tricks uh, does a really, really good job uh, in those areas. And the way they're set up is they're going to have uh, these fundamental courses here, which are taught by Lisa McCormick. She is a very good teacher. Uh, and then most of this content is uh, going to funnel you into kind of one of these uh, kind of core genres of music. Uh, and a lot of these are taught by a guy named Andrews Morrison. He's a really good teacher, really good guitarist. Uh, so you're going to get... You can get some consistency of instruction, but you're also going to get a good diversity of of thought. And and if you if you kind of backtrack and go into the experience lesson section, they are also going to have uh, a lot of other voices uh, and a lot of other personalities in their teaching roster. You're going to go down here into styles, and they have uh, the musical styles here that they cover. And it's in uh, like it's not going to be quite as widespread as what True Fire and Jam Play offer. They're a little bit more nuanced, a little bit more diverse, but there's still a ton of material here. And this just tends to be the best option for people that are either beginners or are looking for um, just kind of a, a really well-structured path to follow. The other thing that it really puts Guitar Tricks ahead of the game is that they have the biggest se selection of licensed song lessons that I, that I have ever seen. Um, it's I'm I'm sure it's the biggest online. It's over a thousand songs, and it's it's all licensed. So this is the program that I recommend most often. Um, like I said, the all of these are really good. It, it the being able to pick from them I think is is you know really gives you a a, a 
an advantage that you know maybe wasn't around 15 or 20 years ago before we had the internet to make all these resources available to us so I think it's a great way to learn I think it's a great way to study the guitar and to kind of be able to you know really pursue the instrument from your own home from the comfort of your own home and your computer chair or whatever so I will put links to these programs. I'll just kind of list them out in the description of the video. So check them out. Um, the links in the description are going to lead to trials uh, wherever they have them. I think most of these programs do have free trials, so you don't have to pay if you don't want to. Um, but like I said, check them out. And that's my list, guys, number six through number one. So hope it was helpful. If you got questions, drop them in the comments section. Uh, and we will see you next time.